when I talked about not getting into an, an emotional state, because normally when stuff outside of our world impacts us, we, we think, oh, you know, uh, how unlucky am I? Or I, I start to play that blame or that victim, I should say. I start to become a victim. And for me, that's a bit of a trigger. Whenever I start blaming other people or thinking I'm playing victim, well, I've got to, I've got to rationalise that. So well, what can I do? Like, for example, um, two weeks ago uh, where I live was flooded. We, were, we, we had more than a, a foot of water through the bottom of our house. So I've got a choice. I've got a choice. I could do one of two things. I can actually say, you know, the whole world sucks and, and this is not my fault and who's going to pay for it? Or I'm going to say to myself, well, what can I do about this? What can I, what can I physically do? And sometimes the answer is nothing because it isn't uncontrollable. And once I then park that and say, well, there's nothing I can do about that, here I am. That's the first step of moving on. That's the first step of saying, okay, so what can I do? What's my responsibility? What's my role here? How do we recover from this? And let's just get on with it because there's no point whinging and whining and and playing the victim because that gets you nowhere. So I think there's that element of self-awareness, there's that element of trigger, and there's, there's that element of action. And for me, when the way that I have worked, I find taking the emotion out of it and just being super rational. That's not everyone's cup of tea, but that works for me.